G'day everybody. Well, time for a more detailed look around the Tell Equipment Type D43 oscilloscope. I'm going to power it up today and also take the covers off it, have a good look at the valves and things inside it, and also see if we can get some kind of a uh, signal on the CRT, maybe a little sine wave or something. Not 100% sure what it uh, it can actually do yet, but uh, we'll certainly find out. Um, as I said in the previous video, I got this off Gumtree for about uh, $15, complete with the instruction manual, which is in very good condition. So, uh, in case there is something horribly wrong with this, uh, hopefully it will be fairly easy to fix, because this has the wiring diagrams and everything in it. So, uh, and also the parts list, all the valves and things, and what the valves do. So, yeah, this is gold, pretty much. In fact, in some cases, these books can actually be worth more than the actual scope. Um, so yeah, I'm very pleased to have got this. But, uh, anyway, we'll um, power it up. This has got the uh, the coolest startup ever. Warm that up. The little lights for the grid there. I know some scopes actually keep the CRT um, de-energised until the valves have warmed up because that's why it's jiggling around like that. But uh, yeah, that's something really good to watch. And that's your, uh, your vertical. Yeah, more or less in the middle. The more it warms up, that line will drift. And that's your... Uh, your refresh rate, I suppose you'd call that. All scopes have that feature on them pretty much. It does have a bit of memory, you can see a bit of a uh, drift line across the, the phosphor too. A bit faster. And slow it down. Speed it up. It should fine tune. Okay, apologise about that. Camera had a bit of a shit fit. Um, it just shuts itself off all of a sudden, which is a bit annoying. But, uh, I didn't get the original probes with the scope either, unfortunately. But um, the previous owner's actually made up this plug where you can just plug in two multimeter uh, probes into it. They've just got two positive and negative socket, which works. It, um, wouldn't rely on it, but it. Uh, it does work okay. I've noticed too that when you turn the volts per centimetre um, up, which is, that's 10 centimetre increments on the grid there. Turn that up so you can see it. These grids here, there, that's 1 volt per centimetre. And so you can go 2 volts, that's 1 volt, which moves the line around. 2 volts, 5 volts, 10 volts sort of thing. You move it up a bit, you can pick up radio waves on it using the table the whole metal surface of the table and you turn it up oh, wrong one and you really turn it up and get some pretty cool uh, signals in yeah it's funny because I've got a radio going at the moment so it's probably picking that up interesting And that really does go nuts when you do that. And see the high frequency. And then it really goes crazy. So yeah, that's I suppose radio uh, waves in the air, AM ra or FM radio, frequency modulation. Um, Anyway, I'll drag out a uh, proper halogen downlight transformer, one of the old magnetic ones, and we'll um, just stick the probes in the, the 12 volt side of that and actually see if we can get the 50 hertz um, sine wave on the screen. Alrighty, just got a uh, El Cheapo 12 volt HPM transformer. Camera's not going to focus on it. Now, this is AC, by the way, alternating current. 
So there's no bridge rectifier in this transformer at all. Got the power reel. You turn it on and kaboom. That's about that. Again, that's the speed. Let me turn that down. Get a bit of a uh, fluctuation there. It just moves it up and down again. But that's AC going through that, 50 hertz. There we go, that's what we want. But that is a 50 hertz sine wave. And uh, anyone with epilepsy, um, I wouldn't recommend that you watch this for too long. That's pretty cool. You make it really tight. There we go. There's your proper sine wave. I haven't tried this at all, by the way, so this is real time. That's pretty cool. Take the probe out, put the probe in. That is pretty cool. Not 100% sure what these do. I'll have to read the book before I start poking at things. Frequency. Would be nice to um, have a go at making Lesages figures on this one day. It might be one of those late night rainy day projects, I think. There you have it. 50 hertz right there. Let's turn it off and take the covers off. Alrighty, here's a nice look around inside it. Excuse the green light, I'm using a uh, metal halide wall light to uh, make it a bit better for you since it's quite dark in here. Duh, there's all those lovely valves. They got mullard, British made ECF 80s up the top there. We've got a Brahma ECC 88, another ECF 80, something else there. Very small tube of some sort, can't see its number. Yeah, it's very nice. That's your uh, your high voltage source, that um, capacitor there. Let's pop the light down. I had that sitting on top because it must have been shorting on the one of the covers at some point, but that's the um that's your high voltage essentially. One microfarad, four kilovolt capacitor. Putting DC into the cathode ray tube, which we'll have a look at in a second. It um, does look like it's been leaking too, so I won't be touching it. And um, I might actually have to remove it at some point and uh, maybe replace it with something um, a bit safer. Because I don't actually know if that's PCB or not, whether it was just a wax filled cap or a... Uh, oil filled or something whether that actually is the oil that's just uh, hardened but it's uh, not nice I won't be touching it so we'll take a tube out I'll have a go anyway all these little brackets that hold them in there you have it it's an ECC88 Brimer 9 pin medium gain dual triode amplifier tube so that's what though that is it's a uh, amplifier tube and there's ECC88s on these two I'll pull one of these out in a second before we do we'll um, just pop over there like that it's not the best thing to be using to light something like this up but it works there's the cathode ray tube oops running out of camera battery 
freezes again on me, I apologise. Uh, probably have no memory. Nice big cat bank there. It's a seriously well built kit. Probably move that light too. That's the, uh, that's a type G amplifier. It's got five ECC88s on it. And a couple of transistors and things there. It's a big trimmer. I love those massive uh, micro switch and potentiometer assemb assemblies they use in these. They're pretty cool. Here's the bottom one. I'll drag that out. Ugh, minute left. Can we do it? Not as uh, complex as you can see. Got another one there. Another two um, 6C7s, Philips Mini Watt, Australian made. I love those little caged ones. Yeah. Uh, almost out of battery. <laughs> Turn that light off. That's the Tel Equipment D43 oscilloscope, now in bits. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.